Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis with a quick update on what's going on with the new homestead that I'm building. In the last video I told you guys that I was having a, a major issue with like some kind of red tape thing where the the land I'm building on uh, has two roads next to it and because the land was associated with one road versus another road in terms of its like temporary address, the fact that I wanted to build off the other road, have the driveway come off the other road, that was going to be a major issue. Well, I met with town officials again and at this meeting they said, oh yeah, that wasn't actually a problem to begin with, it was just a miscommunication within our departments. It was never a problem, don't worry about it, that's all done. Uh, so, are you all set? And the answer to that was, well, actually, no. There's one thing I have left lingering, and it, w it was kind of something that I wasn't really focused on because there was this other major issue that was, you know, seemingly like the bigger problem at the time. But the one thing I have left to do is I have to get a driveway permit. Now, the last time I did a build, driveway permit was pretty easy. You just go to the highway department and you get a driveway permit by telling them where you want to put your driveway. And the, the reason that they do that is just to, so the highway can go out, a highway department can go out and they can just see where you plan on putting your driveway. And it's to avoid people putting driveways in kind of like dangerous spots where it's going to be like a blind spot, you know, like, so they don't have to put up the signs later where it says like, you know, warning, hidden driveway, you know. Why put it in a hidden place when you put it in a more obvious place? I know for preppers, we sometimes like the idea of like hiding our driveway so you don't know that it's there. But for safety, oftentimes, you know, you, you want people driving on the road to know that there's going to be a, you know, driveway coming up. So they'll, you know, look for you pulling out possibly. So anyway, you go to the highway department and it's usually just kind of a rubber stamp process because, you know, nobody generally wants to put their driveway in a dangerous spot. So the highway goes out, the highway department goes out, they just check to make sure, yep, this looks like a safe place. That's fine and uh, you know they give you a, a permit for it. Now I actually I, I, I started the process of getting that many months ago. I, this isn't something that I left to the end because like well yeah it'll be so easy. I, I started this back in July and uh, I've called the highway department many times. I've never gotten a call back. At this point it's probably about a dozen calls and, and emails and things in with them. I've never gotten anything back. Uh, I, my contractor, uh, who's been great, uh, the, the person's going to do the excavating, they've also been making a number of phone calls. They haven't been getting anything back. So this morning I, I figured, well, this is the last thing that's left to handle. Let me get to the bottom of what's going on with why nobody's getting back to me. Well, it turns out that the reason nobody from the highway department is getting back to me is because there may not actually be anyone working at the highway department anymore. It seems like the person, the head of the department, was let go back in July, right about when I first started putting in my applications and that's why no one's getting back to me. It sounds like kind of the, the town official, like the, the, the mayor, or the, the town administrator, whatever they call in this, this town, uh, they are sort of temporarily heading the department, the, the highway department, but not insofar as they're returning any of the phone calls that people leave there, or at least not my phone calls, or any of the emails that people send. Uh, or any of the mail correspondence that gets sent to the highway department. So uh, that was a stumbling block that, you know, I hadn't planned for, uh, and now I'm, I'm dealing with it at this point. Uh, but it illustrates the idea that no matter how much you kind of, you know, prepare for things, I know as preppers we like to think that we can inoculate ourselves against all sorts of things and, you know, we'll never have any problems because we, you know, we plan and prepare and, you know, for, you know, looking forward into the future and everything, but there are so many permutations of various problems that can come up. You can kind of never be prepared for all of them. So this is one where, like, you know, a critical department that I need to get approval from doesn't have someone to grant that approval at the moment. Now, this morning I found out who that temporary person is, so now I can start directing my phone calls and emails instead of to the highway department, directly to their main job. Uh, so I think I'm going to be able to get in touch with them next week once they actually have office hours, because Today it's the end of the week and they're only in, you know, at the beginning of the week. Uh, but, you know, it's another delay uh, and it's it's just part of the process uh, that, you know, you can never plan and prepare for everything. So you have to plan and prepare by putting in these buffer times where delays like this aren't going to absolutely kill you. There you go. So uh, that's the update of where I am right now. Next time there's, uh, you know, some more news, I'm going to share that with you guys. And as we get closer to the building, there's going to be more and more and more uh, updates. And I have a special way that I'm going to be doing the uh, updates. I want to do daily videos uh, of the build and everything. And I've got a new interesting, okay, I'm going to do it in 360 video. We're going to be doing 360 video 
for the actual build and if you're not familiar with that YouTube is already doing that uh, you can do a search for you know VR 360 videos and these are videos where you can click on the screen and you can kind of look around so like right now you're forced to look at my face but if you wanted to see this wall behind you in a 360 video you could just click and you could go around and you'd still be listening to me but you could see what's behind you and I think that's going to be a cool way of sharing with you guys the build process of uh, you know putting the, the structure together because I'll be able to talk to you about something but if you're interested about like you know how are those uh, you know posts going up back there or what, what you know what's the state of the decking over there you'll be able to look around you know at your you know your directive where you want to uh, you know focus your attention so I'm gonna be recording that once we kinda get start getting out on site and everything I got a, a 360 camera that I got is like a dented box and I tested it out I got a huge discount on it uh, and uh, it works. So that was made possible by the generous contribution of people from Patreon.com that are supporting this channel. If you want to join them, link below to keep you know having new kind of uh, uh, you know, different approaches and, and different tools and things that I can you know implement to sh to share things with you guys in a way that I hope is going to be. Uh, you know, uh, interactive, and you guys will get more out of it. So once I actually start getting out on site, I'll be sharing that 360 video kind of technology with you guys, and you can uh, play around with it. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you're planning on doing your own uh, build, don't lose heart. It's an irritating process, but well worth it. And my first homestead was the best financial decision that I ever made in my whole life. You save so much money building yourself. It's really worth it, but it's pretty irritating. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.